What's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you're all doing well. I'm looking outside right now. It's a little cloudy. It looks like it could rain. I really hope it doesn't. It's been a tough past couple of days. It's, it's, it's been a struggle to ride. All skate parks are closed, as most of you know. I mean, I've shown it in my past few videos. The coronavirus is shutting sh down. Skate parks are closed. It's just not worth the risk. There are some really heft... I mean, you've got to like literally jump fences to get into skate parks. I know. I mean, I did do that in a video not long ago. But the homie Kai Saunders, Saundesi, he went to Waterloo a couple of days later and police actually turned up. Skate parks are a big no. Street spots, eh, I can kind of work my way around it because YouTube is my job so it's like I'm technically working. I mean, I am working, what the fuck? Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm just having a flat bar session, which I haven't done in a long, long time. Wesma's coming through, Tom Berryman's coming through. Before we go and do that, I wanna show you a couple of things. I've got a few of my stickers here, just a few samples, just to show you all the different colors that are available. Oh yeah, the purple, they sold out, so they can get out of there. Three colorways available as of right now. You get these stickers in packs of 10, and if you can't choose what color you want, you can get the new variety sticker pack, which is five of each colorway. As of right now, I I don't know how long this deal is gonna last, but five stickers from any sticker order that you make on my merch website, www.shopjackedout.com, uh, I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna sign five stickers out of any sticker order made. I don't know exactly how long that's gonna run for, but as long as it says it up on my website, it's still available. Five stickers out of any sticker order made at shopjackedout.com will be personally signed by me. It'll go from looking like this to looking like this. One more thing I want to let you know before I go out and ride. I'm on the Cameo app now as a creator. Cameo is an app where you guys can buy cameos. You guys can buy personalized video messages from me. And I've had a few people say like, yo, why would I spend like 80 to 100 bucks on like you saying hi to me? Well, guess what? It's not just me saying hi. Like I do respond to fans every now and then on Instagram and in the comment section on YouTube. If you want a personalized video message, this could be uh, a gift for a friend, like a, a happy birthday gift, a Merry Christmas gift, just a, it, it could be a gift for yourself. In the car park. Oh, are, are you already there? All right, I need to go. Where's and Tom are waiting in the car park? Go buy a cameo. It's cool. It's a personalized video message from myself. Buy some stickers while you're at it. I couldn't bring my camera, the flat bar, and my scooter, so you take the flat bar. You set it up. There's some wax. I'll be back in a second with my. What do you think of the flat bar, dude? Dude, it's actually pretty good. I've you like it? It's not flexing in the middle. <laughs> it flexes so much. I, I know. Is it okay though? Like, well, it's... I, that was the first time I've ever like gone. Dude, it's starting to bend. <laughs> I actually made a vlog the day that I bought this flat bar. Some of you guys might have seen it. It was like a year ago, and this is literally like the second time I've ridden it since. Dude, from here, like, you can see now. It's so bent. Do you reckon this will work? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. I don't know about 50s though. You see, if it's hanging too far out the sides, then you can't do 50 50s because your wheels are gonna like hit the rock. It just works. Ow. I set the camera up just in time for that stack. I'm about to learn a new trick, back lip, 
Fake your nose. Backside lip slide to fake your nose manual. It's a tough one. I already landed it kind of sketchy. I'm gonna try to clean it up. I actually had a flat bar before this one, it got stolen. I had another one after that, it got stolen. I, another one after that, same thing happened. I think this is like my fifth or sixth flat bar. Before this video goes on any further, before I answer some questions for you guys, before I do a little q and I want to show you this brand new website I found called Drakemall, drakemall.com. Drakemall is a website where you can win mystery boxes full of all sorts of different things for a small price. I'm going to play a bit of Drakemall myself for you guys today, hopefully win some mystery boxes. If you guys at home want to play, you absolutely can. You just need to set up an account, which is super simple. It's just all that basic information, your name, your last name, your date of birth, all that type of stuff. Or you can set up through Facebook or Google, which everybody watching this video right now who has a YouTube account or like has a Google account so it's gonna be super easy for you to uh, set up an account on Drake Mall or you can do it through Facebook. Once you've set up an account you're almost ready to start playing with some awesome mystery boxes but first you need to add some funds to your account. Drake Mall make it super easy for you to add funds to your account because they accept literally every single payment option. I'm a Visa type of guy, I'm, I'm, I'm a simple type of guy. So obviously they accept Visa, MasterCard, they accept PaySafe, Skrill, G2A. I I don't even know what G2A Pay is. They take Bitcoin, PayPal, they take gift cards, including PayPal. I've already added $300 to my account, but that's not necessary. You don't need to add 300. You don't even need to add 100 or $50. You could add even just $30 and to get a 10% off discount when depositing funds into your account on Drake Mall, you can use my 10% off discount code. It's just Jack, J-A-C-K. Now that you've started an account and you've deposited money into that account, you can now start winning some awesome prizes in the, uh, in the mystery boxes they have. There's so many different mystery boxes available, but first I'm going to upgrade to the Drake Mall VIP because there's so many benefits once you upgrade to the VIP. You get higher discounts on boxes and more boxes with discounts, you get special VIP boxes available only by subscription, you get VIP promos and giveaways, you get priority delivery which is awesome, especially for someone who's super impatient like I am, I'm trying out for $9.99 a month, I'm definitely going to try that. Yes, I am sure. And that was only $10 for a whole entire month. The first thing I'm going to do now that I'm VIP is take advantage of my daily free box, which is free for VIP. Let's open that up right now. So it's spinning, it's spinning. Fingers crossed that I get something good, man. $85 earphones. That's so cool. I only paid 10 bucks for VIP and I've already won an $85 product in my daily free box. That's a $75 profit right there. Now the coolest thing about Drake Mall is if you win something that you don't particularly like, I'm stoked on these earphones. I'm definitely going to keep these, but if I didn't want to keep them, I can actually sell the item. I actually really like these Sennheiser earphones, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to sell the item to show you what happens. I just sold the item and now my balance has gone up to 375. And then I can actually go and purchase my desired prize with the funds I just made from selling that item in the product section. So if you want something you don't like, you can sell it and then go buy whatever you did want to win. This is actually really, really cool. Now I'm going to play around on the mystery boxes. There's all these different categories. There's gaming, there's cheap stuff, tech, smartphones, esports, etc. I'm going to go to clothing because, you know me, I like my clothing. And there's, there's a hype shoes box. It's only $122, which is quite cheap considering some hype beast shoes go for like thousands of dollars. We're going to open up that mystery box. All right, let's go. I'm actually quite scared, dude. Like, I want to win some cool shoes. I might get some I want, I might get some I don't want. Oh, I'm not a fan. So instead of selling the item, I can just open again and try and win something else. One hour later. I've only got $7 left in my account, but that's actually quite a lot on this website considering all of these other boxes are for $7 and under. There's a gadget box, there's an anime box, Apple vs. Samsung box, Galaxy box, there's a Nintendo box, Xbox box. Let's go to our uh, smartphones. I wouldn't mind a new phone. I've recently cracked my phone. I'd love to win a new iPhone. Let's go to iPhone box. 
You're joking, right? So I'm gonna deliver this iPhone. I need to add $20 for the delivery. Well, that's Drake Mall for you guys. You guys can go and check out drakemall.com. And now I'm gonna do the Q&A for you guys. I put up an Instagram story yesterday asking you guys to ask me some questions and I got a bunch of responses. I just wanna make it clear that a lot of the questions I got asked, I've already answered in previous Q&As. I'll link all my previous Q&As in the description below, but I chose a bunch of questions that I've never answered before, so I'm gonna get into those right now. First question is from Michael.Barrels. Are you going to invest in a car soon? If so, I think you should do a road trip around Australia. I am going to invest in a car soon. I don't think, I mean, I might do a road trip, but it probably wouldn't be like a tour, meet and greet type of thing. I'm just gonna get a crappy point A to point B car. Just something that if I run into a curb, it's no stress. Isaac underscore Kane asks, have you ever thought of quitting YouTube for good? Yes, I've had that thought a bunch of times actually. Jesse Jonesy 12 asks me if you could go back to when you first started, what advice would you give yourself? Like back to when I first started YouTube. Don't stress, everything's gonna be all right, time does its thing and don't put so much pressure on yourself. I think that's the, the biggest thing. Don't don't put so much pressure, unnecessary pressure on yourself. Al, Al Cordia, Diao? Sorry, I can't pronounce your Instagram. Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? I have no clue. I don't know where I see myself in a year from now. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Matthew underscore Hogan 15 asks, how do you cope with the fame? I mean, I'm not that famous, but like, I mean, at least in Australia, like especially in Sydney, I do get noticed quite a lot when I'm just like out in the streets or whatever. Going to the skate park's the main thing. I don't like being watched when I'm riding because I feel like People are expecting me to do some big crazy bangers to put on a show, but I'm not there to put on a show for anybody. I'm not trying to impress anyone when I'm at the skate park. I just like to ride for myself, and I feel like a part of that's been taken away since the fame. Ethan Chan 3077 asks, do you do drugs? A lot of people ask me that and think that I do take... I've done my best to stay well away from drugs and anybody who associates themselves with Drugs, I just don't really want to be around it. I mean like if you do drugs, that's your own dis I just like I I don't know why there's so much speculation and like con con Conspiracy about me doing drugs. I think when I left YouTube for a while people thought that that's What happened to me and that's what I was spending my time doing but no no the answer is no Please stop asking that question mark underscore Faulkner with three K's and three R's asks me Are you gonna keep on rapping because you were fire? Well, thanks, man. I'm not gonna pursue rapping as like a career, but maybe I'll make a few songs here and there. I have got a couple of unreleased songs that I actually kind of like, like Magazine. If you have heard the snippets of Magazine, let me know in the comment section if you want me to drop that song. Alex.Fredericks asks me, what's been your motivation to create lately? I've been watching a lot of Casey Neistat. He was like one of my main inspirations back in 2016 when he was daily vlogging. Will Burble underscore asks me, will you grow your hair back? I mean, this is the longest it's been in a while now. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's coming back. I don't know how long it's gonna get, but the long hair is definitely coming back. I mean, the longer hair in comparison to how it's been for the past year or so, it's coming back. Thank you for watching, guys. Do all that good stuff below. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.